Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at the photo right here. Granite staters dig out as second round of snow looms. Another foot of snow could fall before storm moves away Tuesday morning. More than a foot of snow fell in much of New Hampshire by Monday morning as granite staters dug out. Another round of snow was on the way. The Medagnock region was one of the hardest hit areas with more than 14 inches of snow falling in Peterborough. With snow expected to fall through Tuesday morning, plow drivers were busy. Crews have been out since the snow started, which was about 3.30 p.m. yesterday. So, we've been running through the night, said Phil Matheson of Matheson Companies. Matheson said it was difficult at times to stay ahead of the snow. The snow came down at two inches plus an hour for a few hours after midnight and a little bit before, he said. Conditions changed as the morning progressed. It started out as fluffy, but now it's getting a little heavier, he said. Mike of Peterborough, but it's New England. We're used to it. Another major snowfall is expected overnight into Tuesday morning. Parts of southern New Hampshire could get another foot of snow, while coastal areas could get more than a foot. For some, the snow was just what they had been waiting for. It's such a beautiful day outside, said Jonathan Race of Peterborough. The snow is going. It's this time of the year in New Hampshire. The snow made for tricky conditions for drivers as some secondary roads were coded. Tim Devon of Peterborough said he was enjoying his new SUV. I have four-wheel drive Jeep, so it doesn't really matter what conditions the roads are in. I'm okay to go, Devon said. Hundreds of schools and other institutions closed because of snow on Monday. Speed limits on state roads were reduced to 45 miles per hour Monday morning, but by noon, speed restrictions had been lifted on all roads except I-95. A number of minor spinouts were reported, but no major traffic headaches have been reported at this time. In Derry, about 10 inches of snow fell. Public work Officials said there were about 40 pieces of equipment clearing roads. Commuter Lacey Wheeler of Winchdown, Massachusetts, said the roads were in the worst shape in the Bay State. Until I got to about Jaffrey, the roads were a little bit clearer, she said. By noon Monday, roads were in generally good shape, but more snow was falling in parts of the state, and officials warned that conditions could change quickly. Snow Safety New Hampshire Department of Transportation officials routinely ask that residents avoid crowding clouds and slow down to allow for snow removal on state roadways. Officials also recommended that residents clear snow from around lights, vents, and fire hydrants. 
Meanwhile, Jessica's law requires all drivers to clear snow and ice off their vehicles before hitting the road. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another news report. Good night and bye, everyone.